hi, I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn and I'm here to present this coaching video to you on behalf of Match. Match is here to help you start something real even during this difficult time. So what else can we really focus on when we're having this period of self-isolation to help you to improve your dating life? Well, I think a really great area to focus on is to start to really explore who's a great person for you to date. Now, part of this obviously comes down to just reading other people's profiles properly and being really selective about who you choose to message and respond to. Something to watch out for is I believe sometimes when we enter into the world of online dating, we can inadvertently look out for a bit of online dating snap, which is that you're looking for someone who you have that immediate physical attraction to, but also you're looking for a snap on their interests, like they like tennis, you like tennis, they like the theater, you like the theater. And whilst having these things in common is of course a bonus and a nice to have, just like in my last video, I would argue that it's not a must have. So instead of focusing on whether someone ticks all of the boxes on paper, I want you to shift your focus to those qualities that make for a great relationship. So what's, what are some of those amazing qualities that will come through in how someone is engaging with you online? Well, we know that someone who is consistent, who is communicative, who is respectful, and who's making just a lot of effort to get to know you, someone who's inquisitive, is actually gonna be an amazing person to get to know. Funnily enough, we don't usually discover these qualities simply by reading someone's profile. In fact, it's usually the process of messaging someone and speaking to them and communicating. It's that back and forth, which really helps us to understand what qualities a person is bringing to the table. So in order for you to explore this more, I want you to keep a relatively open mind about who your type might be, because remember our type is in fact just a hypothesis until we meet that amazing person who we really connect with. Because of this, I want you to be open to talking to plenty of people and also focusing on your level of communication. What's gonna really help with this is to get your first messages that you send to people on point so that they stand out. Now we all know what makes for a not so great first message. When you say something that's very generic that perhaps the other person's heard like a hundred times before, like, hey, how's your day going? Or hi, how are you? Unfortunately, this doesn't really do much to represent how interesting and different you are. And it also doesn't probably make the other person feel really amazing about themselves. So instead, this is actually a good time to look at what information is on a person's profile. Um, so say that they wrote that they love tennis. You could say something like, hey name, I like that you're into sports and tennis. Um, I hope now that you're stuck indoors, you're not breaking too many windows. You could say something like, hey name, I like that you're into painting and art. Have you been doing lots of self portraits of your cat recently? So you can actually use the information in a person's profile to write a message to them that's funny, that's personal, that's specific, and that lets them know you're not there messaging every single person on the planet. Instead, you're really focused on finding those high quality matches. And of course, if you can make a little bit of a joke about the difficult circumstances that we're all living in at the moment, humor is also likely to go down really well. After you've sent that first message, Remember to stay focused, not just on getting a response, but in fact on how communicative, how willing and how open the other person is. Because really it's how quickly they message you back, if they're inquisitive, if they write a really detailed answer, if they're happy to ch hop on a video call with you. These are actually much better indicators than just what's written in their profile about how good a match they might be for you. Anyway, I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn and I will be back again very soon with another coaching video on behalf of Match. In the meantime, please stay safe and take care.